In this video, I'm going to tell you the differences among the three training organizations in Australia that you can choose for your flight training. Flying school versus flying college versus university. Let's get into it. Hey, how's it going? My name is Jing. I'm a flying instructor, charter pilot, and skydiving jump pilot in Australia. So, this is the most common question I get all the time on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. What flying school do I suggest? Are this school or that school any good? Should I choose a university over a flying college, etc, etc? First, let's talk about the two types of part courses. Integrated training course and non-integrated training course. An integrated training course is an intensive program that combines ground theory and flight training in an efficient and effective way. It is to let student pilots to achieve the required standards for theory and practical flying. This course is designed to be completed within one year full time. The advantage of integrated training course is the reduced flight time, which means less money for flight training. For RPL, there's actually no differences. For PPL, 35 hours for integrated and 40 hours for non-integrated. For CPL, 150 hours for integrated and 200 hours for non-integrated. On the other hand, the disadvantage of integrated training course is the lack of flexibility. You can only do it full time, meaning that you can't work as much for money. Non-integrated training course allows you to do it part-time at your own pace. Another disadvantage for integrated training course is the total cost. The overall cost is higher than that for non-integrated training course, even though with the reduced flight time. It's because you need to pay for theory classes as well, which can be quite expensive in total. You could save that money by doing self-study under the non-integrated training. So, let's talk about the differences among the options, flying school, flying college, and university. First off, flying school. Most flying school provide only non-integrated training course. Second, flying college. This is actually just another form of flying school, but they provide both integrated and non-integrated training courses. Also, some flying college provide government loan, which is the FAFI help in Australia. Only Australian permanent resident or citizen can apply for FAFI help. Unfortunately, for international students, you have to pay it upfront with installments. Third, university. Aviation degrees provide integrated training course for the flying south things and also academic subjects about flight operations and aviation management. In Australia, there are six universities that offer aviation degree and flight training as well, like UNSW in Sydney, RMIT in Melbourne, or UniSA in Adelaide. Personally, I was from UNSW. If you're interested in knowing about their program, check out this playlist. I share all my experience during my time there. So, how to choose among these three? It comes down to if you want non-integrated training or integrated training or even a university bachelor degree. Personally, I don't make any suggestion or comment on any flying school, college or university because I don't know about your situation and preferences. I don't know where you're located as well. I have never been to every single training organization in Australia, so it won't be fair to give my opinions on specific schools. Things change all the time. Some good schools can actually have bad instructor and some bad school could have good instructor. It's up to you to find out what is best for you. For flying school, I like them because they are in a smaller scale. The instructor can pay more attention to every individual. The learning environment is more casual but personal. The connection you can make in a flying school could benefit you in the future. For flying college, I like them because they may have newer fleet of aircraft, more structural training schedule and also the option of government loan. For university, I like them because it's a degree. If you are aiming for airline, having a degree is certainly a good thing on the resume. However, if you're Australian and thinking of university, 
I do strongly suggest you to do a degree that is not related to aviation, which gives you a second qualification or skill set. Then you can go learn flying on the side at the same time, part time or full time, depending on your time management. It's always good to have a backup. That is the only suggestion I will give this day about flying school. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.